Hi. So today I want to share with you a new wig that I have called Picture Perfect and this is by the company Tressler. So if you would like to find out more then stay tuned. So today I want to share with you a piece called Picture Perfect by Tressler. Now truth be known I actually already have a Picture Perfect um, by Tressler in a different colour. Um, but she's very well worn, like I love her so much, I've worn her to death. Um, so I was really excited when Hairwear reached out and asked me if I would like to review Picture, Picture Perfect in a different colour. And of course I said yes. Um, so the colour that I have her in to show you today is 12R. So here she is, this is the shade 12R, which I've never had before um, and is described as a light golden brown. Now you can see in terms of colour that it is a, a lovely warm brown colour and there's definitely, although it doesn't say it in the description, there's very clearly some light sort of blonde highlights that are running through this shade that just give it a lighter appearance. The highlighting is done really, really well. It's really beautifully done and those highlights actually start all the way from the root. Now even though they said it's a rooted colour, I assume 12R means root. If I'm wrong, I stand corrected. But there's no sort of obvious root on this piece. The highlights do go all the way down to the root. I'm not usually a fan of non-rooted colours, but I actually think this is blended so well that it looks really, really natural. And this is the first piece that is unrooted, that I believe is potentially unrooted that I actually really love. Um, big fan of this colour and I don't really wear brunette. It was that kind of transition colour between a blonde and a brunette because there is definitely still some blonde running through this colour. So I can't talk about this colour enough. I actually really love this colour. It's really beautiful. Um, so let's have a look at the cap construction. So on the inside you have a temple to temple lace front which runs all the way along here down to these sort of larger ear tabs. Um, there is a full monofilament section, which obviously means that you can part this hair in any area of this section. You can go for a right, left, middle, center, zigzag part, and it will still look like the hair is growing from your scalp. There's a polyurethane strip here, which I seem to see a lot more and more of recently. And I assume this is just to help give extra kind of grip, extra friction between the wig and either hair or skin, um, depending on what you are wearing this on top of. Um, there are your sort of velvet ear tabs on either side, which will be very comfortable to wear. And there is an extended velvet nape, so that thick nape to increase comfortability if that's even a word, um, when you're wearing it. There are Velcro adjusters, which as I always say, are my favorite because they are just so easy to adjust um, and on both sides. And the rest of the cap is open wefting. Now, open wefting, the positive about open wefting is the coolness of it, I think, um, particularly when you're in the warmer months because there's more airflow being able to run through this piece where it's open and there's no material over the top to cover it. The only downside I feel is that sometimes the hair can start to poke through this side and it, it's not impossible. Um, you just need to be a bit handy with like a, a fine tooth comb to kind of push it back through to the upside of the wig. Um, but otherwise, a really lovely um, cap construction, I think. So the next thing I'll do is I'll get her on and we'll look at her and her style and um, all of her features when she's on my head. Okay, there they go. So she's on. Um, I love this piece. I love the style of this. I just think it's stunning. I love this sort of feathered, layered look, these face framing layers at the front. Um, they're so pretty and so flattering as well. They're just, just gorgeous, absolutely love it. And this kind of sh slightly shorter layering here kind of extends 
all the way around the piece as well, which just gives this a lovely shape. Got that, those fine, those longer lengths here, but only a little bit longer, maybe another couple of inches. It's just gorgeous, really beautiful style on this piece. I suppose it's maybe ever so slightly longer than a lob. Um, if you kind of cut those bits off, it would be a lob. So maybe ever so slightly longer than that. The overall length of this, um, it's quite difficult to find out what the overall length of this is. You get kind of the nape measurements and the, the bang measurements, etc., on the websites. Um, but I always like to know what kind of the overall length is. And when I, when I think overall length, I kind of want to know what it is from sort of the centre of my head here and down, sort of to, from there to there. Um, I'm not sure if I'm just missing something, but I never seem to be able to find that measurement. So if I put my measuring tape, go like this. There we go, down to the longest length. It's roughly, oh, sorry, roughly 17 and a half centimetres from kind of the top centre of the head down to the longest point here. And the bangs at the front, or I say that all the longer parts at the front, are approximately 11 to 11 and a half inches um yeah so it's the longest parts are about 17 and a half and then your shortest parts are about 11 and a half at the front here so a really beautiful layered feathered look um which frames the face really beautifully Okay, let's have a look at the lace front. So the lace front is temple to temple. And it's quite a thin lace front. There's not a lot of excess lace coming forward across your forehead. You can see it's just here. It's quite sheer. There's a tiny little bit of lift here when I pull the hair off the face. The lift isn't occurring unless I pull it off the face. But a great solution to this is just get yourself some got to be glue uh, free spray, which is essentially a very strong hairspray, which you can just pop underneath there. So if you do want, if you do have the same issue, um, you can just glue that lace down to stop it from lifting. Uh, all the other time I've got it on my head, there's no lift, it's flush. It's just when I've pulled this back off my face slightly. Um, otherwise, that lace is very sheer and it runs from temple to temple here. The knotting on Tressalure is really well done. Despite this being a darker shade, the knotting at the front here, you can see them, they're so fine. They look, it looks really really good really natural looking and that can be quite hard to get with a darker synthetic piece um just because of the color of the hair i suppose um and those sort of slightly bigger knots look obvious and it looks like you're wearing a wig whereas this is just done really really well i'm very impressed with this you've got the kind of lighter shades at the front as well which helps even more with reducing how obvious any knotting is. Um, in terms of the ear tabs, so quite good coverage, it kind of comes to here. Now my own hairline comes down a little bit further, but look how similar my own hair colour is to this. So I could just pull a little bit of my own bio hair out at the front and actually this helps to blend and make it look a bit more realistic as well. I'll do that on the other side too, just there. But otherwise, those ear tabs are sitting really flush on the side of my head. Um, the cap size on this is 21.5 inches. My head is 21.75 inches and the cap feels like it fits really snugly, really nicely. It's not too tight. I would say that actually you could probably go up to a 22 inch on head with this one um, and also slightly smaller because the adjusters at the moment are on the almost the loosest setting 
um, and it could be t they could be pulled in a bit more for a slightly smaller head um, but fits really really well so I would say running like an average size cap so as I say you can part this in any which direction that you like on that monofilament top so at the moment I've kind of got it imperfectly in the center I would say so I think it's a it's a good part um, it doesn't look too dense you can see scalp through it and I'll show you do the same on the right hand side and on the left hand side as well so wherever you part it in that monofilament section it will look like the hair is growing out of your scalp and the parting I think looks natural looking I'm pleased with it so let me give you a quick look of what she's like all the way around so obviously this is the front I quite like that you can just push those little bits back so, head front, and then from the side, from the other side, and then back to the front. So, yeah, she's um really, really stunning piece, possibly my favourite wig ever actually um if I'm gonna be having favorites you know, although that changes from day to day like some days I'm like oh that's my favorite today so yeah today this is my favorite um but she does always sit in the top three without a shadow of a doubt so in terms of the density of this piece this is a I would say medium density um there's not too much hair I'm not a big fan of too much hair this is a, a really nice amount of hair um and it's also not too little hair it's a really good um, amount of density a lovely natural density I would say um, in terms of weight she's 5.29 ounces and again just not heavy on my head at all really comfortable weight um, another thing that I should say about this wig is that the fibers are heat friendly so this means that you can use heat on this piece using straighteners or curlers up to a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius um, in Fahrenheit that's 320 degrees so yes if you want to change the style up um, or straight, straighten her out add curls into her then you can do and the lovely thing about this is that if I were to curl this piece and then wash her when it dried she would still have those curls in so it has like a memory whatever style it was last that was last created by heat this wig will then remember that and when you wash and dry it it will be in that style which i just find quite incredible really but there you go that's how that's how these heat fiber friendly um, fibers work so yes yeah, so this is a heat friendly piece and you can style her using heat so when you have a look at the colour, so this is again shot in front of a open window, natural daylight streaming through, no artificial lighting whatsoever. So here is the colour and the, I just think this colour is stunning. I don't think I've ever found a brunette that I love quite as much as I love this one actually. But you can see there's definitely lots of blonde running through this piece, but it's definitely still a brunette. Um, it's it's gorgeous it's really gorgeous and it's really warm and warm tones suit my skin tone so this is, I think this is why it works for me and why I feel really comfortable in it so yeah this is the 12R described as a golden or light golden brown so my overall thoughts on this wig is that it's it's very close to perfection um, aside from the fact that the lace lifts a little bit when I pull it back off the face um, this is my perfect wig and I can't recommend her highly enough so if you are interested in this picture perfect wig by Tressler you can purchase her from the hairwear website 
and you can also get 20% off by using my code which is Lucy20OFF.